There are a couple of moments in your life when you feel, what is this? When it grabs your attention, when it takes your breath away, when it allures you, when something seduces you. No, I'm not talking about the first time when you saw your crush, although that is one of the case. But let's get real. We are going to talk about this painting. Nothing crazy, right? Now you might say this, ha this might have been done in Photoshop and Illustrator. This might have been done with other software, special effects software. But what if I say that this image is not an image? This is an actual program that is coded in HTML and CSS. And if I really show you, try to inspecting all of that, if you really inspect it up right here, you can see, as you can see, I can inspect each and every element of you above right here. And this painting is not actually done by me because I'm... We are noobs! You got my point. This painting, uh, this art, this is actually done by Cyan Harloff or Diana Smith. She's a developer in... At, at least her Twitter bio says that she's a developer from Atlassian. Uh, she's CSS enthusiastic. And today we are exactly going to review her artwork. So if you come to her GitHub uh, repo over here, fortunately she has made this project open source. Diana, you are so generous of this doing this, I know. But, and, and thankfully we are really glad that you have done this because we uh, can really look up to like this marvelous piece. Uh, we are trying to review what, how is this really, how is even this possible? So uh, as I have, as I've really opened this in VS Code, if you really come right here, just look at the lines of the code over here. If I really come close, the HTML is just, I think 1356 lines of code and the CSS is around closely around 4000 or something like that. That means it's near around four, four or five thousand ish, something like that. And although I would really argue that measuring the lines of code isn't the really best way to figure the complexity of the code, although that really counts and differs, but it really gives a fair understanding about how the code is really complex. But if you really come up right here, you know, but really the one question really raises is how can we dissect it and how can we analyze it that this is actually made with HTML and CSS? That it's not a really SVG or any vector art. The fact really I have noticed when during my observation is if you come over to this uh, CSS main CSS file called Francine CSS, if you really inspect it, control right here, sorry, uh, search for overflow hidden, you will see that there is 28 times that overflow here is used, overflow hidden that is used. So if you come over here now to really see and inspect all of this thing. What we'll do is we'll add one element. We'll take this as star, that means everything. And then what we'll do is overflow to visible and we'll make it everything as important. Okay. Uh, visible overflow, visible. Okay, we want to make it important. Uh, I Important, right? Okay, now you can see that everything has been unfolded. So if I really go up right here, so as you can see, everything is just stacked one on top of another. And cleverfully, it has been over just, and it, it, she has been cleverly used the property of overflow. I think it blows my mind even like how could even really think and plan of doing such things. Like you just, just try, I will try to refresh this. And really try to zoom and detail, uh, check the details about how it really looks. So if you come over here, it's like I'll disable this and I'll use this my magnifier glass. Okay. Uh, so look at this feather. Look at this, the, the necklace or this uh, hairband. You know, look at this light detail and texture. It looks like in rate NVIDIA RTX, ray tracing. I mean, how can anyone really do this? I mean, and especially why anyone would ruin their life doing all of this uh, stuff? Especially, it's so realistic. You know, I wouldn't. So, for instance, for a moment, if I really look, if I really happen to look from a really distant view, I wouldn't even imagine that this is made with HTML and CSS. But that's just a beauty. And let's try to dissect it further. So, what I'll really do is I'll take this one. Okay, I'll come in VS Code. Oh, come over to the top. Okay, what was there? Okay, uh, let's come over here. What we'll do is we'll take this star. 
overflow uh, visible and then what we'll do is important right okay okay now we can really dissect it really much more clean so what we'll do is we'll remove a couple of things over here really try to uh, analyze what is actually going on here so let's try to uh, let's let's try to pull off some uh, left arm let's try to get rid of the skirt let's try to waist get try to right arm okay get try to left it's like upper body we want a uh, hair right collarbone collarbone head tree yeah we i think we want this one Mm -hmm. it's really like something else, something is missing it's like it's, it's really difficult for me even to analyze what's actually going on here interesting i mean there is so much of complexity and i in my mind really wonder like how could even anyone plan and imagine to do all of these things it's just wonderful man really so it's really like okay here oh, this is what i've got Okay, left curl, right curl, ear curl. Okay, we what we'll do is okay, we will take this, remove all this, uh, remove this one, we'll remove this one, we'll remove this one. Okay, now everything is starting to get much more clear. Okay, we'll remove everything. I'll I'll make this fast forward. Okay, okay so now we are here. Let's try to get this position over here. So as you can see, this uh, actually is in here, right, uh, right P of right. So this is in the class of here. So if we come over here, the strand, everything is pushing outward right there. So if you really come over strand, one strand, let's say there is actually total of 50 class. So if we, if I really move my cursor over here, you can see this is gradually moving towards left, uh, right side. So if let's 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 try to review all of this thing, and let's try to strand one right. If I come over here, I'll really do is like S T R A N S T R A N D strand one. Okay, okay strand one, or uh, strand right. Okay, strand 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 strand. Hmm, interesting. So strand one right is at zero. Strand one right, strand two right is at three. Strand uh, three right is at four. So I think everything is moving every bit two 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 percent. The problem really is something like that. I, th I, I think there is something over there. And this is really what makes me is confusing. So I think this is what my initial impression really is here do right okay tree container okay 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 let's try to get this okay strand strand 34 right okay strand str and the strand strand the strand 34 right str and d strand 34 hmm Yeah, I think in space. Ah, yeah. So as you can see, there is this is strand 33, this is strand 34, 35, 36. So as you can see, it goes up to 50. So bit with each consequent uh, div, she has brilliantly managed to pull this two 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 percent right, two percent right. The height is same same. You know, this is like how even anyone has planned to do brilliantly and to manage all of that to pull that out so what if i really do is i'll really delete all of this term uh, all of these strands just i'll really uh, leave two or three strands to really analyze what is going on and i'll fast forward this process okay so now what you can really see is there are only five six strands really left i'll try to just Pull this out okay i think it's she has brilliantly managed to pull that out what if we really disable the shadow 
okay okay the shadow really makes it more realistic that's a plus point hmm interesting okay uh, what if we really try to pull that out you know background image okay border radius inherit okay okay oh oh can see this is a clever diff so it's really the realistic effect is uh, the, you know the strands in the hair look at this border look at this border this border is giving this actual a realistic uh, hair effect just like how my hair texture is going on here it really gives that realistic effect and once you top and once you stack it top one or one over other one over other and use the property of overflow and that really gives it a much more meaningful essence uh, the, but still i'm i'm really confused like how could even 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 begin with that process with doing all of that thing so even if you come over here let's try to you know box shadow inherit let's try to close this one so as soon as you really uh, enables this box shadow it makes it makes a difference as you can see it really makes a difference uh, if i really try to just or i'll try to refresh this for after a few seconds then we'll try to check this again about how this really looks like but still for a moment let's try to delete this few of them okay uh yeah now what we you know we have got this few div layer okay border radius inherit okay as you can see this is getting a pure radius and circle once now as you can see this is getting stuck this is a pure round shape circle now what is really happening is this is one circle and this is another circle now she has brilliantly managed to pull this stack one in top of other and just move to two 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 percent so that it really covers everything i mean it really looks like realistic hair strands so if i really try to refresh this it will get back to it normal i think i need to just uh, okay hmm. i need to come over here i need to search for my star okay uh, and make this visible for a while okay and then uh i okay let's try to refresh this for a while okay so it's like a hair donor strand okay no we don't want this hair strand 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 hair to front hair to back oh uh, yeah hair to curl one curl right is i think this is the one right <clears throat> okay what if we really disable the border now what we can see this these are the border radius you can see everything is just scattered but the property of overflow that is hidden just makes the enhances the beauty and takes its reality to its much more further level enhancement and and the most important question is why anyone would ruin their life why anyone would really just you know make their life more miserable already we devs are dealing with a lot of problem and our life isn't really any happy but you know this is just like leonardo da vinci's mona lisa of css you know and the best part is really like i i i'm really blown away by all of this thing but again let's try to just close away the border radius okay so as you can see this has got some sharp radius if i try to really use the magnifying glass as you can see over here um, if i really again let's try to again yeah it has gone i think it should gone right okay it has been really gone over here so i think no i need to refresh my magnifying glass okay yeah now it's really gone okay now let's try to dissect the feathers okay uh feather feather left feather right okay so i think so as you can see it's going hmm, it's going one 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 further layer hmm. so let's try to let's zoom it for a while okay yeah just bring her this is something refreshing uh, hmm. I think this is more taxing on the CPU. I 
everything the css and rendering hmm interesting okay although yeah this is now really beautiful stacked away so as you can see it really rises above over here so if i really take a magnifying glass okay so it's now really seeing a pixelated zoom okay uh, okay so like the magnifying glass doesn't work over here hmm interestingly so if you really see the feather one feather two feather three so as you can see it's rising every single top 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 right so if you take this uh, feather one right the property of feather feather one uh feather feather one feather 21 let's try to look over here f f e a t h feather one no? if i'm right f e t h 29 f e t h 29 okay the right the width right and everything is square feather aside hmm right width everything this is just brilliant like and it's like <laughs> i can really stay at hours and hours over this one so i will really uh, default zoom size to our again to 100 percent hmm why is <clears throat> you know i think this is so again i, I can't really stop praising this this is just brilliant <laughs> this is just amazing like and and honestly i can go hours and hours for doing all of this thing because it is so deep and you know imagine the time she has put to make this like it's it's obviously two or three months of hard work in that has gone in making this and this is not only the artwork she has really made if you go, come over to the here as her uh, personal pro website she has really made an another various stuffs and drawings so if you come over here let's say we try to open this project okay hmm let's say we come over here okay so as you can see you can change the color of hairs okay the, it really looks so realistic right it really is like Diana, you should start making your own custom rendering engines. Like you are too good at this. If you are really watching this video, it's like you can commercialize your art. It really, it's, it's too damn good. Okay, even I can't imagine to do this in my own eternity. And if you come over here, that this look at the details. Like, it's just, how can anyone really do that? You know. Let's try to open this first. Okay. We just play for a while. Uh, and let's try to review this. Hmm. Inspect. Over the here. So I think, yeah, what we really need is let's try to rotate everything. As you can see, it's getting really, 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 really dark. Okay. The necklace okay neck top right rotate y oh now it is making so much fun <laughs> this is so fun to play oh oh it's getting out of a neck now today i, I really learned that overflow hidden can really make wonders and this isn't really another this isn't only she has made her own but she's number one on css realistic art i'll mention the link down in the description which you can check that out uh, the website is a collection about the realistic art and the top that have various people have made with just using html and css and nothing else now that site is just awesome and she's apparently number one on this thing and quite honestly i have really seen this from really uh, one year back ago but the inspiration of this video i have got from kyle cook's video about making his own face with html and css 
and then i got uh, then i got the idea like light bulb moment that hey why can't i really make this video and so yeah this one this one is what i will say i will mention her github repo link down below so please go and check that out and one thing that i really forgot to really mention is like if you come to her github repo one thing i really forgot to show you that it's really like if you come over to the issues this is surprising to see like hey now usually you don't see on usually don't see this appraisals on issue page on github normally if you have really seen any op any open source project you will see a lot of issues lot of angry comments or but this is really unique you know all of the things are really just everyone is giving a praise and that's that is really unique and quite fantastic i would say and heck one even person has said that why are you so excellent like this is one of the craziest thing i would say in in any github uh, issues so there you go just let me know what you think about this video do you have any ideas suggestion or any some sort of whatever it comes to your mind just leave down in the comment box below till then stay connected most important is stay subscribe i'll see you next time